Welcome to our lesson on parts of the frog. This is a lesson we printed from Montessori Print Shop. We also have this lesson available on our My Work store. The purpose of this lesson is to introduce to your child all of the different parts of a frog and you'll probably find that your child is pretty surprised that even a frog has a neck. What you will need is once you've printed off the material, you will need one card that has the object with its name and then a separate picture card with a separate word card. And when you print off the material, all of the information that you are going to need will be printed off. You just need to cut it apart and, if you'd like, post it on colored paper and laminate it. When you first present this lesson, especially if your child is very young, you're going to want to choose three or four of the most basic parts of the frog. Then, as your child understands how to use these three-part cards and learns all of those first four body parts, you can introduce more. But our first lesson to you is going to be showing you how to present the more basic presentation. The first time you present this lesson, keep it very simple. Keep the language really to a minimum. So in this case, you start with frog, head, trunk, eyes, and then this is where your child gets to match. But show them first how to do it. Trunk. Head, eyes, that lesson showed you the basic parts of the frog, but as you'll see when you print off the lesson, there are many, many parts to the frog, and I think your children will really get a kick out of knowing that a frog has a neck. And in the classroom, we have fun with this lesson by talking about how we have eyes and so do frogs. So here is some of the more advanced parts of the frog that you can show your child when they're ready. Webbed feet. Hind legs. Four legs. Mouth. Neck. This says webbed feet. Remember when you're first put this on the shelf for your child, start with just a few. It can be overwhelming. If it's overwhelming for you to see all of these different parts, it's definitely going to be overwhelming for your child. So start with a few, and as your child seems to be disinterested in those parts, add some more or change it up a little bit. This lesson is meant for a science lesson to help inspire your child to look at the world a little differently. Enjoy!